Hi, my name is Karen Lynn, and today I wanted to do a section of a bookshelf tour. I have three bookshelves, and I've cleared up one and put the books back on kind of thing. So we'll just do one today. This is my fiction bookshelf, and let's try and not have glare. Okay, so um, Things Fall Apart is a book that I bought at a library book sale so I could reread it because I read it in high school and I want to reread it, haven't yet. The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian is another book that I bought to reread. Haven't reread it, but really enjoyed it the first time. It is a great young adult book. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is Pride and Prejudice, but with zombies. And very fun book. Longborn is another Pride and Prejudice retelling, but from the servant's perspective. The Ancient One, it was my favorite book for a long time in junior high. I want to reread it again, see how my opinion has changed. Uh, Close Your Eyes, Hold Hands is, I guess, post-apocalyptic. Uh, Fahrenheit 451, a classic. Red Rising, Golden Sun, and I do have Morning Star. I just finished reading it, so I haven't put it on this bookshelf yet. The Zombie Survival Guide, um, some kids I was babysitting told me that I needed to read it, so five years after they told me that, I finally read it and it is very fascinating. We Need New Names is a novel that reads like a collection of short stories. It's very interesting about a girl growing up in Africa and yeah. Then I have my, oh, just a couple of books that I read by Jim Butcher from the Dresden Files. I own more, I haven't continued reading them yet. Need to get on that. Um, then my Orson Scott card collection, so um, Ender's Game is a popular one. Enchantment is not so popular, but I really enjoyed it. It's more of a fairy tale retelling um, of Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, very fascinating. I really love this book. And then the Homecoming series, which is about like five billion years in the future, the human race coming back to Earth very fascinating. Kind of interesting religious overtones. Uh, the Perks of Being a Wallflower is a great young adult book again. Um, then Cinda Williams' Chima, The Warrior Heir. And that's the only books I own of the Heir Chronicles, but I did enjoy all those books. And then these four books from the Seven Realms series, which now has a spin-off series that I haven't read but I need to reread these first before I read those. So The Demon King, The Exiled Queen, The Grey Wolf Throne, The Crimson Crown, and then Al Capone Does My Shirts is a kid's book about, um, set on Alcatraz Island, and it's very fun. Then the three books that I own and have read of Agatha Christie's, and then there were none, which is creepy and wonderful. The Body in the Library I did not enjoy as much, but it was still good. And Murder on the Orient Express, which is an amazing book as well. Then I've read most, if not all, of Cassandra Clare's books, but I only own Lord of Shadows and Lady Midnight. Kind of losing tr interest in her books. I feel like the ones set further back in time were much more interesting to me. Ready Player One, which became a movie earlier this year. Haven't seen the movie yet, but loved the book. The Hunger Games trilogy, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, wonderful. And then um, this Smart Pop is um, kind of a series where other authors write about an author trilogy or series. Um, and I want to get more of these. They're kind of like essays about the books, um, but this one's about the Hunger Games, the girl who was on fire. Slight Trick of the Mind is a Sherlock Holmes novel. It is the basis of the movie Mr. Holmes, but the book and the movie are quite different. Very interestingly different. Um, the Bartender's Tale, a little bit in history again, very interesting. The Roundhouse is a very sad, very funny book, um, Teenage Boys, and all Teenage Boy Discussions, which is amazing, written by a woman, but it definitely feels like a 
reading teenage boy things. Um, Libra is a kind of conspiracy theory novel about the assassination of JFK. All the light we cannot see. Novel set in World War II. Oh, Play That Thing is another historic novel. Um, the It's the second book in the series. I never read the first book. I'm, I want to try and pick that one up. I think it's called A Star Called Henry, but Oh, Play That Thing has Louis Armstrong in it. Um, I'm written by an Irish immigrant kind of perspective. If I Stay was a big YA book movie based on it again. The Corrections is a very depressing book about a family. Yeah, very weird. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Really great book. Haven't seen any of the TV series yet. Fragile Things is a collection of short stories and fictions by Neil Gaiman. Very fun again. Graveyard Book. Um, really good. Makes me want to read The Jungle Book. Um, Norse Mythology is a very great start to Norse Mythology because it's a good source for the true um, stories of these gods. The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns by John Green. Water for Elephants. I don't know if I've seen the movie, but I have read the book and it was pretty good. A Little Something Different is a great light book. It's new adult, college age. Um, love story, but it's written from different perspectives, none of which are the two. People falling in love, just everybody around them. And a squirrel. A Thousand Splendid Sons and The Kite Runner by Husini. Um, really great books about Afghanistan. Very depressing, but important to understand that culture. And down here, The Healer's Keep, which is the second book in a series. I've read all three. They're both, they're all three great. I think I like the first one better, The Seer and the Sword. The Eyes Were Watching God is one of my favorite books ever. It is so beautifully written. Lumine, um, I haven't continued the series, but I do own them, so I'm hoping to get to that soon. The Historian is kind of historical, um, but kind of Dracula related. The Devil in the White City is a novelized nonfiction about the Chicago World's Fair. Um, all seven books in the Chronicles of Narnia. Amazing. Screwtape Letters is very good. Very interesting reading from a devil's perspective. We Were All Liars was a YA that was super popular a couple of years ago, maybe? Um, really interesting. The Giver. I think I thought to reread. Haven't gotten around to it. Watched the movie. Thought it was nothing like the book, but I haven't read the book in a while, so need to reread the book. Throne of Glass. I'm not convinced I'm ever going to continue the series. I'm Sold is a book about um, human trafficking, sex slavery. So very interesting, super sad, but very short and very well written book. A Hall of Keys and No Doors is uh, somewhat fantasy, somewhat. I don't know. It's super interesting. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but I've really enjoyed reading it. Um, when Dimple Met Rishi is a contemporary YA. Very cute. She has a new book out, which I need to read. And then the Lunar Chronicles, a whole bunch of Lunar Chronicles, um, which I love this series. And The Renegades, also by Marissa Meyer, is really great. Beloved by Toni Morrison. This book, I just couldn't read for like a week after finishing it. I just couldn't handle... It's just such a powerful book. So powerful. Um, I'll Give You the Sun is a YA book. Pretty good. And Romeo and or Juliet is the only Choose Your Own Adventure book that I've ever read, but it's super funny, super great. I want to read more of it. Yeah, great, light, funny read. The Time Traveler's Wife. I haven't seen the movie, but there is a movie. Um, and the book is really good. A lot of deep questions for also being a kind of fast, light read. Oh, time travel. It's always complicated. No No Boy is 
after must have been World War Two, kind of about the concentration camps in the U.S. or whatever you want to call those camps. Um, but it's after the release and just yeah, it's it's a complicated book. Lots to think about with that one. Wonder is a kids book. Um, middle grade, whatever. Um, very great. There was a movie. I haven't seen the movie, but the book is great. A lot of different perspectives, which I wasn't, didn't think was going to happen, but really great. State of Wonder is an interesting book. The ending was very weird. The whole story was a bit weird and not very accurate, but can't go too scientific with novels. It just they're always going to disappoint in the scientific field, I feel like. But yeah, definitely interesting. Lots to think about with that one as well. The... oh. This is in r weird order. It's supposed to be Aragon, Eldest, Brisinger, Inheritance. But anyway, the Inheritance Cycle, um, which is about dragons. The first book I really loved. And then they just kind of all went downhill, and yeah. Um, then Kiss of Deception and Heart of Betrayal are two books in a trilogy. I have the third book. I need to reread these three, these two, then read the third one so I can finish it. Um, but they are pretty interesting. Um, different, three different perspectives, at least in the first book. Um, yeah, but fantasy. And then all of my Rick Riordan books. Um, Redeeming Love is historical fiction. Um, so the author of Francine Rivers had been writing romance novels, but then um, she became a Christian and she's written a couple of Christian books since then, including Redeeming Love. So it's a romance novel, but it's not what you expected from a romance novel, I guess. Kindred Spirits is a novella, um, kind of to do with Star Wars and nerdiness and very cute. All of Rainbow Rowell's books are cute. Fangirl is another cute book by Rainbow Rowell, a new adult college age book. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the play that came out two years-ish ago. The Winner's Curse is a fantasy, the first book of a fantasy series. I haven't picked up the other two, I think there are, but maybe one day. Um, <sighs> the Mistborn Trilogy by, Sandin by Brandon Sanderson is so amazing. There are huge books. All three of them are, but they are so wonderful. I love all the characters and the story, and it was such an interesting fantasy read. And somewhat out of alphabetical order. Um, Low Lord of the Rings trilogy, and then a book about Middle Earth. Um, a Darker Shade of Magic. I haven't picked up the other two books in the series. This was my first Victoria Schwab book, Raven Cycle. Second book is missing because I'm currently rereading it, but I absolutely adore this series. Really wonderful. Then Sinner, which I bought at a library book sale, which is why I don't have the other, the original trilogy in the Mercy Falls. Um, but not the best books, but they're interesting, and I think that they were one of the beginning first books of Steve Otter, so yeah. And then her most recent book, All the Crooked Saints, was really great. Um, I'm from Colorado, so it was nice reading a wide book set in Colorado. She has just such a beautiful writing style. And The Help, again, there's a movie. I saw the movie before reading the book. I think both are pretty good. Ember and the Ashes, the third book in the was supposed to be, or was advertised as the standalone, came out, and I am not reading them just because I... it was an interesting, good book, fast read, but I just, 
I'm really upset that they advertised it as standalone, and it most definitely isn't, and I just don't know how much longer the series is going to go on, so I'm rebelling. Um, then Kurt Vonnegut, Bluebeard, and Slaughterhouse Five. Slaughterhouse Five is a really big one. Bluebeard was really interesting, though. Um, yeah, I definitely want to read more Kurt Vonnegut. He's a very interesting author. The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Parts in this book I liked, parts were nah, not so much, but a lot of people really love this book. It's kind of a classic, so yep. The Martian by Andy Weir is a wonderful sci-fi book. Really hard science in it, which can be hard to swallow or understand, but you don't have to understand it to understand the story and absolutely love it. I love how I love how fallible the main character is and it's just so great seeing man versus nature to such an extent. Um, the Shack recently became a movie, haven't seen it yet, but the novel's very interesting, very Christian, brings up a whole bunch of things, really great book. And then The Book Thief which is another World War II book written from the perspective of death and so beautifully written. I really loved it. I can't remember if I saw the movie to this or not. I'm not great with movies. So that is it for this bookshelf and I'll do the other two some other time, but I really just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's welcomed me to booktube. You guys are so sweet. I really feel so welcomed and it's been wonderful. Hopefully today I'll reply to all the comments and whatnot, but thank you so much for being so welcoming and watching this video. If you saw any of your favorite books, let me know down below like which ones um, you really loved or had a strong opinion about, or as I said, there's a lot of books I'm wanting to reread, but I just haven't had the time for. So are you in that same boat of just, there's too many books? But even when you want to reread them, it's just so hard. Okay, so I, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Go live your life. Bye.